Hi, I'm Rob Quarrell, KDM Technical Services Manager, and today we're just talking about fuel injection. With the introduction of fuel injection on a lot of off-road bikes, cleanliness is very important. And these are some of the tools that KTM offer you to really look after your fuel injection system. When you're removing the fuel tank, they actually offer a plug for either end of the quick release fuel line. So this is especially important if you're washing the bike or working on the bike and putting the tank on the ground. So the little piece fits on the actual connection and stops any dirt going into the, into the actual line which then ends up in your filter or your injector. The other thing is that KTM have updated their inline filter system and uh, right now any EXC or SXF fuel injected owner should be receiving a letter and in there KTM is offering you a new inline filter and here is the difference the old filter is a black cage and the new filter is a grey cage the micron is different between the two filters the newer filter is free of flowing and they also give you a hose clamp so it makes it easy for you to replace this new inline filter which needs to be replaced at every service with your first kit you'll get two spares to throw in your bum bag so if you ever get a dirty lot of fuel you have the ability to change it on the trail as well it's quite easy to access tank off the hose clamp is mounted on the piece of line that is left on the bike so that the hose clamp is removed the line is removed and the little filter sits in the spigot on the throttle body there's actually three parts to each of the mats so it's fuel ignition and acceleration correction so like a fuel pump on a carburetor when you crack that throttle, that extra squirt of fuel, on a fuel injected bike we can change that at different RPM ranges. So when we're putting a new map in there's three different sections to actually load in there. Now basically what we do is press right to ECU and if we were on a dyno there is a way that we can temporarily put it on there to see if it's going to work. But if you're testing out of the track or like we are now, we just load it straight in. So if we toggle between what's in the bike and our modified setting now, it's the same. So you can see that. But on the fuel, which we haven't done yet, you can see if we toggle between there too, there's a difference. And this becomes the standard base map from which the new, the dual, if we fit the, the, uh, the dual switch, bar mounted switch, it'll alter it more aggressive and softer compared to, to this one now. Correct, so whatever you have in the ECU, the map switch changes slightly either side on that, what's in the ECU.